Alright, Prosperity Seth here, and looking at the board, it was difficult for me to decide what to do here. Um, the only trash in is Bishop and Expand, and Bishop you really don't want to go with early. Expand is a lot of money and hard to get. Why do you want to trash? Well, there's City and Grand Market, right? So you, if you want to trash, so you can play a lot of Grand Markets in a row, or to play a lot of Monuments. So, I wasn't really sure how to go about it, honestly. I didn't want to get the bishop to trash, which means I would want the expand. And how am I getting expand? Well, I think the best way is with vault. Yeah, I think the best way is with vault. Also, with vault, you're guaranteed to get a grand market. Another idea that crossed my mind was Worker's Village Watchtower engine with Monument and Bishop and such and maybe you want to open Talisman to empty those piles quickly uh, in which case City becomes excellent if you run the Worker's Villages out for example but I decided not to go for that Talisman opening for the Worker's Villages Watchtower thing and instead I decided to go for the uh, more expensive cards so Monument is what I'm going to open with Alongside a silver, pretty good chance of getting me to five, and it, I do get to five. I, I could have got seven, <laughs> it was theoretically possible, but very unlikely. On the other hand, my opponent goes for Watchtower and Silver, so not really sure what they're going for. A fairly flexible opening, and um. Yeah, I am able to get my vault, and I'm going to buy a watchtower myself. Very useful card. My opponent already has a couple of those. And on four, just another worker's village. Not another, just a worker's village for me. I have the couple terminals, and I will want the, the plus buy from the worker's village, of course, as well as the actions at some point. So a lot of watchtowers for my opponent. Maybe they're going for the worker's village watchtower thing. Not sure. Um, if I was able to top deck the expand, that would be nice, but not able to do so, I have to discard that watchtower to get enough money for my expand. So pretty nice that I saw the vault with the silver, considering I have one silver in my deck. Didn't have to pan out that way, but it did. If it didn't, then I would have been happy just taking Grand Market there. And eventually I would have gotten the vault. So lucky five for me there is a city. Want to start emptying those, right? Not really sure what my opponent is going for, but I want the cities, and I will take them. My opponent has workers' villages and watchtowers in their deck. They don't have the vault yet. I have the vault. Eight here. I could be another expand, but I want the grand market. There aren't a lot of expand targets. Is the issue? The estates, yes, and then you're done until the end game when you want to expand platinum into colony or something maybe. So, even that, just the trash, I mean, isn't the greatest thing in the world. Uh, my opponent now buys a vault and gets to top deck it with the watchtower, so that's pretty nice for them. And I am going to see my expand with an estate here, which is very nice for me. So, I maybe might want to expand it into something like venture in which case I can play the watchtower and draw the venture but I think the city is just better and have that at the top of the deck no need to play this watchtower just because it's here doesn't mean I have to play it I can just keep it in my hand and actually top deck another watchtower so that I can draw a few extra cards next to city watchtower so that was that was pretty nice set up my next hand Watchtower is such a brilliant card, honestly. Oh, I didn't mention this. Another reason for the Vault, I see it here is why I talk about it. Another reason for the Vault is that it works well with Watchtower. If you have enough actions, you could go Vault first, discard everything but one Watchtower, then play Watchtower, draw six cards. That's pretty nice. That is pretty nice. So you can get a lot of money and a lot of draw with Vault Watchtower combinations here. 
So 7 for my opponent and not going for Grand Market. I thought it would have been our Grand Market considering how they were playing with the gold and silvers and whatnot. But instead it's an Expand which is top deck. Also they didn't play that Vault I think. I'm not sure. Anyways. So here um, I am going to just uh, draw through here with this Watchtower just to get up to the end of the deck. And scramble whatever money I can which turns out to be not a lot. In fact, I'm not even going to play it. I'm just going to buy another Grand Market. I feel like if I have a lot of those, I should be in good shape. Uh, running those is also another pile for the cities to activate. So, that that that's, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. And I feel like even if my opponent doesn't want to help me with the cities, he will want to help me with the Grand Markets. It's just that good of a card. But he is uh, going for an estate now. Um, not an estate, trashing an estate in the city now, so maybe he wants in on those finally. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Hey, I have to hold back this estate uh, for the expand to trash it. And this is another reason for the vault, right? It's, it's two cards, it's not the greatest card draw in the world, but it'll still um, increase your hand size in this little engine here. I mean, of course, the watchtower is a lot better for card draw really and extremely good in combination with the vault but it's here and it'll, it'll cycle me a little bit and able to pick up a city and a grand market is yes. excellent excellent i'm very very happy with that too so i seem to be going along quite nicely here just picking up these cities and the grand markets uh, very relatively comfortably no real worries for me here. Uh, playing this Watchtower doesn't do much. It'll draw one card and instead I could just use the top deck ability. Being able to put things on top of your deck is a big deal. It's a very big deal. It means you're guaranteed stability. You're guaranteed to go somewhere on your next turn. It's very, very nice. Also, with um, all these plus buys, right? They, like You'll have a lot of grab markets and maybe the cities might run. Uh, it is important to keep in mind that the watch tower can actually, you can buy 10 curses and trash them just to empty a pile. So I mean that's way way into the future but it's something to just, you know, think about when the time comes. You know, you don't want to miss it when the time comes if that is the case, right? So here my opponent uh, goes for a second expand. Again, I thought it would have been a grand market, but instead it's another expand. And here I have the opportunity to do something uh, quite nice. I can play both these villages, expand, gain whatever five cost, probably a city. Oh, I can expand it first, sorry. Top deck it with the watchtower, then draw city and play the other city and then my hand size has gone down so watchtower will restore it and yeah we have a semi decent turn here so i have six but i uh, was six without coppers ten with coppers i'm gonna play everything pick up two cities and we're very close to activating those and once those are activated i have more of them should be winning should be winning uh they are the coppers on my deck but with this kind of draw from the city uh, plus the Vault Watchtower thing, it really shouldn't be a problem. And eventually I can expand all these coppers into, you know, Watchtower maybe, or Silver, just to increase my economy. Um, my opponent gets the last city, so I am going to enjoy these upgraded cities first. And picks up a Grand Market. Um, so the issue now with the, the cities that draw a lot of cards is that the watchtower is going to suffer, right? it's not going to draw as many cards. However, the vault can help with that as it does here. So really just a lot of things working together nicely here. The vault and the watchtower working, the city finding both of them. Just um, a very elegant sequence of things going on here. I, I'm going to get rid of the silver here for a grand market, which will sit at the top of the deck. Thank you watchtower. Watchtower really has to be one of the like, I've made a joke before saying Watchtower's top 5 cards in Dominion, but Watchtower really has to be up there. Obviously not triggering the shuffle. Um, I discarded a bunch of things with Volk, right? 
Yeah, so watch out really has to be up there. It's, it's very versatile. Such a versatile card. Tremendous, tremendous. And it always shows up with some card in an expansion, you know, working well with it. Uh, very nicely designed by um, whoever designed it. I don't know. It is the only reaction, I think. Well, not no, no, not the only reaction, but it is the most expensive reaction, I believe. No, not anymore. Diplomat. Freaking Diplomat. It, it, so, okay, before Diplomat, it was an expensive uh, reaction, but it's well worth the cost. Well worth the cost. Usually they were cheaper, right? like Moat and Secret Chamber. Then they started to get expensive in watch and with Watchtower. Um, Fool's Gold is cheap, too. Anyways, what I'm doing here is just building. I'm ahead. I'll build. I don't think my opponent can empty the piles. Actually, I, I probably 100% certain my opponent can't empty the piles. And building for me here means setting up my next hand to draw. Um, yeah. That isn't actually building. That's just making sure I draw my deck next to it. Which I can improve incrementally with the expand, for example. So I just buy a bunch of um, draw cards. I get another Vault Watchtower combination with two Workers Villages. So that I um, yeah can discard a bunch of things to vault and then draw back up with watch toss and like guaranteed to kick off here. Actually, if I undo that, I could probably draw back a bunch of copper and maybe increase uh, my money output for the turn. So maybe yeah, this was building as well as you know stabilizing. Uh, my opponent goes for a colony, and I think that's a good decision because at this point I was entertaining thoughts of a pileout. Um, the colony probably stops all of that cold. So I get my money from the vault, I get my draw from the watchtower, and I'm going to come out with like 20 something dollars this turn. I have no problem overdrawing here. I can get whatever it is I want. I have the second vault so I can draw back with the watchtower if I want. Uh, one of these watchtowers gets turned into a grand market. I don't need three. Two is a decent number. And I buy one colony, and I was thinking about maybe trying to set up for next turn, because look, I have seven coppers in my deck, right? I can draw five of them, and have a stall turn, and I don't want to give my opponent any kind of way to come back into the game. So I was thinking about what to do with my remaining money, if to try to set up my next hand to draw more, but I decided against it. I said two colonies is quite a strong play in itself and I mean I have to just trust the deck at this point right I was thinking maybe like Walker's Village Vault I'm not sure but I decided against it decided against it just the two colonies are quite a strong play I think and we just have to deal with these stall turns as they come right my opponent is also Probably as junky as me in terms of the coppers and whatnot, despite having the two expands. They picked up the expand later and expanded things like Watchtower into Grand Market at some point. So, haven't been quite removing junk from their deck. So, yeah, the two colonies and my opponent plays a few cards and then decides to call it quits. He actually plays one card, the expand. And decides to call it off at this point. So we are tied again. Another tie game. So much tension. See you in game 7.